hey what's up guys and welcome back to the channel and in this video i will show you how to fix the legend of zelda tears of the kingdom crash on your user ammo later so let's start guys do not skip any part of this video i will explain everything and i will show you everything to fix this error for your game the legend of zelda tears of the kingdom on user emulator so let's start first of all make sure your settings for your game on user already completed this is the main reason of crashing problem for your game on user go to emulation and configuration but make sure you have a good pc and if you have a low pc uh, to play uh, this game on user then you can fix it uh, very easily uh, you need some settings for your game uh, first of all make sure you are using multi-core cpu emulation uh, multi-core cpu emulation it's very important thing uh, for your game performance and fix crash on user and uh, uh, go to system cpu and select auto from here otherwise you can select unsafe you can try both options if your game is uh, is working with auto options then select auto otherwise uh, uh, you can use unsafe some games workable with unsafe option uh, on your user emulator and but i recommend auto and go to graphics tab and uh, make sure these options are already selected by default and uh, 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 you need to select 1x resolution if you select uh, these uh, 6x or 7x then you can face lagging issues performance issues and crashing problem so i recommend this one 1x 720 by 1080p and uh, click here uh, select this one amd super resolution and vulcan uh, is better than opengl for performance and fix crash on user uh, some games workable with vulcan and some games workable with opengls then you can try both options one by one but i recommend vulcan and uh, uh, select your uh, GPU device. If you have multiple GPU devices, then select your powerful GPU device from here. If you select low GPU device, then you can face crash problem for your this game on user emulator. If you select powerful GPU, then you can fix the issue for your game on user. So I have only one GPU device, you can see over here. And we sync mod, uh, you can try uh, turn on but uh, uh, I uh, turn it off from here. If VSync mod is not available over here, then you can go to advanced tab and uh, you can turn it off from here. But VSync mod is available over here. So I turn it off and uh, go to advanced tab and check this option and check this option. And over here you can see the code ASTC texture. If you enable this option, then you can face the issue like crash problem while uh, playing games so you need to disable these options from here if you are facing graphics glitches uh, issues for your game uh, on your user emulator then you can uh, enable it otherwise you can disable this option after disabling this option you can fix the issue like crashing problem so check uncheck this option and check it and check it and it's done and select high from here uh, if your gpu device is very uh, good uh, is powerful then select high and select uncompressed best quality and go to controls over here you can see so you can select handheld mode or dog mode but i recommend handheld mode because handheld mode is uh, uh, very useful for this game so i select handheld mode from here and it's done your settings are completed for your game and make sure your settings uh, are same for your game right click and go to properties and check your uh, settings for your game so all settings are same you can see uncheck this option now your user emulator is ready to launch the game without the crash and make sure uh, you are not using any update for your game or any other mod for your game right click and open mod data location so this folder is empty 
and uh, if you are using any update and you face uh, you still facing the issue for your game on user then disable your uh, 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 update file uh, update for your game if you want to use an update for your game uh, on your user emulator then please update your user emulator because older version user emulator does not support latest version updates for your game so please update your user emulator you can fix many issues for your games after updating for your user emulator and for more solutions if you're still facing the issue for your game then uh, go to search bar on the windows and uh, uh, go to device manager and because we are using vulkan for our game in yuzo you can see configuration and uh, Vulkan so your GP device is here so you need to check your drivers for your GP device go to uh, device manager and uh, right click properties and drivers so if you have older version drivers you can see double version and double tight if you have older version drivers then please update it first if you have older version drivers then you cannot fix the issue for your uh, uh, user emulator uh, these settings for your game in user are useless so it's very important thing make sure your driver tight and driver version are up to date and if you have already updated drivers for your GPU device then go to control panel for your NVIDIA right click and control panel and you need some more settings for your GPU device Go to configure surround and select your powerful GPU so you can see over here uh, your all GPU devices if you are using multiple GPU devices. So I recommend uh, uh, your powerful GPU device. Select your powerful GPU device and apply and go to adjust image settings and select performance from here and check this option and select performance and check it and apply these settings can fix the uh, crash problem for the legend of zelda uh, tears of the kingdom on yuzo and scroll down select your jeep device open gl a random gpu so already selected my already selected my gp device and power management mod maximum performance already selected and texture filtering quality high performance and click on apply and it's done and go to program settings click here and select your uh, user emulator application file click on add and uh, you can see all that is selected but I need to select my latest version user emulator so this is my user emulator no not here so my user is on my desktop yes over here right click and open file location this is my user application file and open and apply now close it and for more settings right click and go to the space settings and scroll down and over here go to graphic settings and uh, uh, remove your old user exit file from here and remove browse and go to your user emulator folder over here right click open file location and select the application file this one add options high performance and save now close it and uh, for more solutions and settings type your task manager and go to your user emulator right click and go to details and uh, right click and set priority to high and change it's done now guys you can play your game without the crashing problem on your user emulator so i hope this tutorial will be helpful for you guys if you like it then please subscribe my channel and like my this video thanks for watching guys bye bye